tonight on Season Pass. Week one of high school football is in the books, and we have the highlights. While Hawks make a trip to the Puncher Dome, Lakeview snaps a 12-year streak, Erion County makes their six-man football debut, and Eden and Blackwell square off in a highly anticipated showdown. We also have some high school volleyball action, as well as some news from Angelo State Athletics. So sit back and relax, because Season Pass starts right now. Season Pass, sponsored by Kelly Grimsley Kia. Welcome to Season Pass. I'm your host, Ryan Reynolds. Thank you so much for staying up late with me. Week one of the high school football season is in the books, and boy, was it wild. If only there was a show that would wrap up all the action just in case you missed it. Well, that's what we're here for, Season Pass. Has the highlights of 12 high school football games, and we're going to run through team by team. So try and stay with me. Tonight, we're going to start with probably the most hyped game of the week. Wall taking on the Mason Punchers at the Puncher Dome on Thursday. Wall fell to Mason in the season opener last year, 27-21. And when we talked to the team, revenge was on their mind. But how did they handle the tough environment? Let's get right to it. Wall take it on Mason at the Puncher Dome. The hype behind this game was absolutely insane, but can it live up to it? First quarter after a Mason fumble, Wall, Ma Wall quarterback Mason Fuchs rolls out to his right and finds Connor Dursky in the corner. Hawks take an early 8-0 lead after the two-point conversion, and there will be a whole lot more scoring in this one. Let's pile on some more, why don't we? Fuchs hands it off to Chase Rios, and he breaks a few tackles, and mama, there goes that man. Rios finds the end zone. Wall increases their lead to 50. 15 to 0. Later in the first, yes, folks, we're still in the first quarter. Cinch Dickey breaks free and sees nothing but green grass in front of him. He's in for six. Wall up 21 to 0. And boy, did they get their revenge. Wall snaps Mason's 38 game home winning streak. They steamroll the punchers 47 7. The final. Wall partied the whole 92 miles home. But when we talked to the team, they said the celebration will last until Monday because we've got Phil. You know, I knew that this was going to be a good football team. I knew that we had some tools that were going to make us explosive offensively and very, very deadly defensively. I think defensively we're very, very fast, very, very aggressive. I think probably one of the best defensive teams we've had in a long time, and that says quite a bit. You know, offensively, uh, we've got to make sure that uh, we stay healthy and we make sure that uh, our depth doesn't get too thin, that uh, it gets to be a factor for us. And I think that right now we got all the pieces to be a very good football team. The Central Bobcats opened up their season Friday night against Colleen Shoemaker. First quarter, 6-0 Grables. Malachi Brown throws up the middle. His pass is picked off by Amir Batiste, taken down at the Bobcat 34-yard line. Later, Gray Wolves moving the ball. Ty Bell keeps it, turns on the Jets, and goes 32 yards before he's pushed out of bounds. Shoemaker threatening again with that speed. is what Central head coach Brent Davis said to look out for, and there it is. Shoemaker's speed hurts Central all night. Second and goal now. Bell, he's going to connect with Trent Hudson for the touchdown. Makes it 14-0. Gray Wolves and Shoemaker, they go on to beat Central 54-21. The KLSC game of the week featured Lakeview and Lamisa at San Angelo Stadium. Now, these two teams are familiar with each other. The two played in the season opener last year with the Golden Tours, taking it in a shootout 47-42. But Lakeview is a revamped team this year, and they're looking to build off a season that saw the team win their first playoff game in four years. So can the Chiefs start 2019 with a bang? Lakeview recognizing their 15 seniors prior to kickoff, and they are fired up and ready to go. Lakeview looking for their first win in a season opener since 2006. Seven. Late in the first quarter, no score. Albert Rodriguez heaves it downfield and finds J.J. Caceres. He tiptoes the lemon tree down the sideline. A perfect pitch and catch leads to a first down two plays later. Rodriguez is looking like a bulldozer. He keeps it, scrambles, breaks some tackles, and pushes his way into the end zone for the score. He's fired up and had a great performance all around in this one. Lakeview leads 6-0 to zero after a missed extra point. Second quarter, Kaysen Sims pass. Look at that. It's going to be picked off by Anthony Mendez. And there's nothing but green grass. Mendez, meet the end zone. Your new best friend. A pick six for the Chiefs. Lakeview up 12 to 0 after a failed two point conversion. Lakeview, they go on to beat La Mesa in stunning fashion. They shut down the Golden Tornado's late comeback attempt. Chiefs win 38 to 30. 
El Dorado taking on TLCA at Lakeview Stadium. It's a battle of the Eagles, but it wouldn't be much of a fight. Second play from scrimmage. Kevin Caballeras finds Cooper Metter for the touchdown. El Dorado takes an early 7-0 lead. One of Caviar Erbe's handful of touchdowns in this one. Second quarter. Caviar I don't know why I can say it in the 10 o'clock news, but not, not now. Rolls out to his left and connects with his brother Corbin. He cuts across field, breaking tackles, and this man won six. Caviar Rubias finds the end zone to put El Dorado up by two scores. I'm so sorry for butchering that. 14 0 lead next for this for El Dorado. Caviar Rubias finds Corbin again, this time wide open. He easily scores. That gave El Dorado a 21 point lead. Well, I said it wasn't much of a fight, and I wasn't much of a fight pronouncing those names. And and there's the final El Dorado. They storm past TLCA, 47-6. Very best, ready to go. Facing Rule out and Blackwell to open up their season. The Falcons' defense was showing off early fourth down for Rule. Chris Purnell scrambling. He's looking. He's looking under pressure, and his pass is batted down by Joshua Bolin. Ball goes to very best. And how about some more defense? Later in the first quarter, Rule back on offense. Michael Medford juggling the ball, and he fumbles it. Covered by Philip Emerson. Falcons are in business, but can they capitalize? These fans sure hope so. If I was not work, I'd probably be there with them. But on the next play, the snap goes over the head of Connor Barnes. A quick recovery, but he is sacked for a huge loss. Rule would get on the board at the end of the first quarter to take an 8 0 lead, but very best would come out and dominate the third. Falcons take it 52 to 40. Sterling City taking on Amarillo San Jacinto to open their season Thursday night in Garden City. The Eagles, they put their foot on the gas. Kadeem Pruitt with a 20-yard run. He's in the end zone for a touchdown. Eagles lead 6-0. Later, Quint McMillan wide open, and he will score. Eagles up 14-0. And there's that man again, Kadeem Pruitt. This dude can run. He goes 50 yards to the house. Pater and Pruitt meet again. They should be friends by now. Sterling City leads 20 to 0. And how about some Sterling City defense? Graham Hollins pitches it back to Parker Lopez, then the pass back to Hollins. He fumbles it, and the Eagles recover Sterling City. They ended the game at the half, winning 64 to 6. So Wall, Lakeview, El Dorado, very best. Sterling City also pick up wins in week one. Coming up on season pass, we're serving up some more highlights. Brady Ballinger, Miles Cristoval, Water Valley, and Robert Lee, they're all on the way. Stay with us. <laughs> I'm looking at that truck. Wow. That's awesome. This Labor Day, everyone's excited about Chevrolet. Oh, wow. They're all really cool cars. Woo, I love it. I can't stop staring at it. Ride out the summer in a new Chevrolet this Labor Day. It's time to upgrade. Get 0% financing for 72 months plus $2,000 on all 2019 Silverado Double Cab pickups. And during the Labor Day sales event, make no monthly payments for 90 days. The Labor Day sales event ends September 3rd. ProLine Rentals and Sales is now offering West Texas short and long-term residential storage. Our brand new high-quality containers can be utilized for any of your storage needs. Our professional staff will ensure your unit is up to standards, and when you're ready, we'll be there to pick it up. If you're doing housing rentals, Innovations, moving across town, or just need some extra space, we can provide you with an on-site solution. You can even store your unit at our facility if you need extra time. For more information, call, visit us in person, or check us out online at ProLineRentals.com. Hey, Google. Ask Reliant how much of my electricity is free. With the Reliant Truly Free Weekends Plan plus Google Nest Hub, keeping track of your electricity usage is easy. That's life. Switched on. Reliant. Really? Hi, guys. We like the gray. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Road and Altima. Hurry in for Model Year End Savings on our full line. Now, save up to 3500 on the 2019 Nissan Altima or the 2019 Nissan Rogue.
Hey, welcome back to Season Pass. It's one of the most historic rivalries in West Texas football. Ballinger and Brady, the Bearcats, have a new head coach in Chuck Lipsy. And Brady thinks 2019 is their year after going 2-8 and eight last season. Brady taking on Ballinger at Bearcat Stadium. Like I said, these two teams, they have a history. First play from scrimmage for the Bearcats. Edgar Nudia as he throws it. And it is intercepted by Ty Walker. Not the way you want to start the season if you're Ballinger. First quarter, and Brady, they capitalize. The pitch back to J.D. Ibarra, and he gets through the crowd and into the end zone for a touchdown. Brady leads 6-0 to zero after a missed extra point, but that wouldn't hold on for long. Second quarter, Nunez, he tosses it back to Darren Hall, and he's going to stumble in for six. Bearcats lead 7-6. to six. Ballinger goes on to win. They squeak by Brady, 26-22. Miles hosting Ranger, a Bulldogs versus Bulldogs matchup. Which one will prevail? Opening drive, Miles forces a Ranger punt. The snap goes over the punter's head. Ranger jumps on top of it, but in their own end zone, Miles lead 2-0 to zero after the safety. Then Miles fumbled the safety kick. Ranger gets it back, and Michael Lewis takes it to the house, finishes it off with finish off the drive. Ranger takes the lead. Miles turn now. Closing stages of the first quarter. Davian Martinez finds Jose Mata wide open in the end zone after the two-point conversion. Mata would lead 10 to 6 and Miles they would go on to steamroll Ranger 58-6 the final. Cristobal taking on Harper to open the season. This one was a blowout. Second quarter, no score. Braden Wilcox, he's going to roll out to his right and improvise. He lobs it to Bo Jolly. He breaks the tackle and takes off up the sideline and in the end zone. Cougars up 7-0. to zero. A little Patty Mahomes-esque play from Wilcox right there. Later in the quarter, a high snap. But Wilcox, where's it at? Here's the snap. A high one, Wilcox, he's going to handle it, and he's going to decide to keep it himself. Sprints to his left, and there he goes up the sideline. Wilcox, he's going to take it to the house. That's going to be more push-ups for the cheerleaders. Cristobal, they go on to win 40-0. to zero. How about some six-man football? Water Valley take it on Robert Lee. Both schools featuring new head coaches in this one. Check out this run by Gunnar McCoy. He takes the toss and trucks his way for six. Water Valley leads six to zero. Good way to start the season for the Wildcats. Later, Water Valley with the pitch back to Gabriel Smith. He's going to find green grass and watch this run. He hops over defender's arm, still going. Hits one with the back step before finally being taken down. A huge game for Water Valley, and they punch it in. Cannon Wise finds a hole and punches it in for the score. 12-0 Water Valley. And if you think they're going to let off the gas, you're crazy. Kyle Bannister, he's going to recover the blocked punt, and he's going to score on it. Wildcats lead 18-0, and Water Valley spoils the return of Steers head coach Kerry Owens. They defeat Robert Lee 53-8. Week one wins for Miles Cristobal and Water Valley. They outscore their opponents 151 to 14. Still to come on season pass, we have highlights of Erie and County's first six man game, as well as Eden and Blackwell. Don't go anywhere. Season pass will be right back. People are really excited about Toyota's national clearance event. Congrats. <laughs> Get $2,000 customer cash or qualified buyers get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2019 Camry. Toyota, let's go places. We're home. Let's go. What kind of SUV is that? It's a brand new Buick Enclave. That really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. Hey, honey, we should get one of those and have like a ton more kids. Yeah, I love that. More kids. Yeah. Introducing the all new Buick Enclave. Tomorrow's SUV for today's family. Get over 5,800 below MSRP on this 2019 Buick Enclave Avenir. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. Buy more, save more during the four-day Super Labor Day sale at Furniture Row. That's four amazing days to get 100 bucks off every thousand you spend. With the best selection at the lowest prices guaranteed, it's the perfect time to refresh a living room, dining room, bedroom, or fall into a new mattress. Check out doorbusters while they last. Plus, no interest financing until January 2024. But hurry, the four-day Super Labor Day sale at Furniture Row ends Monday. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event. That means more euphoric feelings that come from getting a great deal on a Honda CRV or HRV. Or from getting a pilot or passport. All part of 2019's best SUV brand. Hurry in today and experience the joy for yourself. Get a great deal on the Honda CRV, part of 2019's best SUV brand, at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. 
People are really excited about Toyota's national clearance event. Congrats. During Toyota's national clearance event, qualified lessees can lease the new 2019 RAV4 LE for only $259 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back to Season Pass. Erin County went from playing 11 to a 11-man football last season. It's now playing for an independent state title at the six-man level. Let's head out to Bront, where Erin County made their six-man debut against the Longhorns. Bront hosting Erin County. And Erion County is going to take the pitch, and there he goes in the first quarter. Jace Contreras pitches it to Brad Guider. He turns the corner. Goodbye, storms up the field. Erion County up. They lead 8-0. to zero. Second quarter now, Greider with the handoff to Osiel Garza. No one there to stop him. He finds the end zone. Now, I'm not going to lie. The results of this game kind of shocked me, especially with it being Erion County's first six-man game. Hornets up 14-0. to zero. A perfect start for Erion County. You can't script it better, really. Still in the first half, Greider with the toss to his brother, Riley Greider. Brad sets the lead block off the races. He goes. Riley for the touchdown. Hornets lead 22 to 0, and the Hornets take the season opener. They win over Braun 56 to 18. In one of the most anticipated week one matchups, Blackwell ranked number nine, taking on Eden. Here we go. Blackwell, he's going to throw it, and it's going to be hauled in for the touchdown. Blackwell, they take the early lead, 8 to 0. That was Michael Lowry tossing it to Brendan Scott. Two-point conversion was good after that. Later, Lowry, he pitches it back and leads the way for Cameron. Called, called Iron. Blackwell starting to pour it on. Let's unleash the floodgates. 22-0 after the conversion. Still first quarter. Eden trying to get something going. You don't want to see this guy in the open field. Junior Hunter Rogers rolling, looking, tucking it. He's in for six. But that wouldn't be enough. Eden, they fall to Blackwell, 62-14. to Taking a look at some other scores around the Concho Valley. Maypearl holds Grape Creek to a goose egg. The Panthers shut out the Eagles 28-0. Grape Creek will battle Cristoval on Friday in Cristoval. Kevin Sherrill wins his head coaching debut for the Sonora Broncos. They top Ozona 33-13. Sonora will hit the road to take on La Mesa on Friday, while Ozona takes on Iran. Cross Plains dominated Menard 34-7, the final in that one. And then Junction brushes past Ingram Moore in a close one, 27-20. The Junction Eagles hosting Goldthwaite on Friday. Week one of the high school football season is now in the books, but it was surely one to remember. Here's a look back at some of the best moments in this week's Concho Valley Rewind. <laughs> We had some Pepper. and rich, delicious Dr. Pepper. Cool robot. Thanks, but actually, he's a cooler from the future. Wow. Don't, don't, don't touch. He's very cold. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, so nice to treat you. The rule of three states things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs. One GMC. Get over 6,700 below MSRP on this 2019 GMC Acadia Denali. Plus, get an additional 1,031 purchase allowance when you finance through GM Financial. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. At Haverty's, we know a mattress is more than something you sleep on. It's something you live on. <laughs> and we want it to be perfect. Get the most out of your mattress with Haverty's Labor Day Mattress Sale. Our experts will help you choose from a wide selection of top brands and will match any price. Save up to $600 on Serta with Sky Sleep Systems. And save up to $800 on Beautyrest Black with Sky Sleep Systems. Haverty's. Life looks good. 
Summer isn't long, but summer to-do lists are. Let a Ford F-150 help quickly turn your to-dos into ta-dos. During the Ford Hurry Up and Save Sales event, get 20% estimated savings on select Ford F-150s, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. It's a hit, so chill and enjoy your summer in America's best-selling trucks 42 years straight. Get 20% estimated savings on select F-150s plus complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards at your best in Texas Ford dealer. Man, I wish we had some... Oh, Dr. Pepper! And rich, delicious Dr. Pepper. Cool robot. Thanks, but actually he's a cooler from the future. Wow. No, 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 touch. He's very cold. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, so nice to treat you. Welcome back to Season Pass, everyone. High school volleyball continued this week with a handful of Concho Valley teams in action, starting with Central on the road against Abilene Cooper on Tuesday. Lady Cats won the first set. Second set, Central up 11-9. Presley Knowlton with the powerful kill makes it 12-9. Knowlton already having a stellar season so far. The Central Lady Cats later in the set. Cooper now with the lead. Steely Poss is hit, is deflected, but it falls to the ground. Lady Cats now trail. 21-18, Lady Cats making a comeback. Maddie Aber serve, goes to Grace Vincent. Veronica Guerrero steps up, Knowlton sets up Knowlton for the spike, a two-point game now. Set point, Cooper up 24-21. Carolyn Detloff collects the serve. Ryan Broom with the cut, but Diamond Brown is there to deflect it. Cooper takes the set, 25-21. But the Lady Cats took the match in four sets by Guerrero's 53 assists. They win 3-1. Lakeview taking on Fort Stockton at Lakeview High School. Fort Stockton up early in the first set, and Katie Salmon increases that lead. She rises up and drops this one into maiden territory. Prowlers lead 5-1, to one. still first set. Lakeview trying to gain some ground, and Layla Ramirez gets the kill. Maiden still behind, though, 6-3. to three. Prowlers eyeing the set victory, and Salmon again comes up big for Fort Stockton. She gets the monster kill, and Fort Stockton takes the first set, 25-13. Over to the second set now. Prowlers on an 8-1 to one run. And they storm back to tie the set at 20. Salmon finishing that one off. Lakeview trying for set point. Let the bodies hit the floor. Beautiful saves by Angelina Valero. And Kinley Jackson keeps the ball alive. Salmon gets a recovery of her own, but it falls in for maiden, for maiden point. And this one went to distance. Fort Stockton defeats Lakeview in five sets. Down the road we go. TLCA taking on Kahoma on Tuesday. First set and Kate. Kirkland is going to set up Liz Torbett, who gets the soft touch to drop. Lady Eagles trail 5-3, to three, and there was some good net play in this one. Jocelyn Zoy finds Overton McKinley, who just powers this ball for a bulldog at point. McKinley showing off the strength right there. Still first set tied at 19, and TLCA breaks through. Carly Buck sets it to Emily De La Rosa, who comes through with the kill. Lady Eagles lead by 1, 20 to 19. Kahoma going to take the first set, 25 to 22. Second set now, so about that net play. Here's a good one, Torbett. She gets the block and the point that stops a five-point Kahoma run. TLCA trails 5 to 1, but Kahoma, they go on to win in four sets. They down TLCA. Wall at Water Valley. The Lady Hawks won the first two sets. Water Valley took the third. Now in the fourth, Riley Braden gets a great set from Mallory Melton. She gets the kill. Wall leads 23 to 21. The Lady Cats fought back. Alyssa Urbinke with a high set for Jordan Stovall cuts the lead to 24 22. Next point, Kendra Barnett. Can't connect with Bailey Dawson's serve, and it goes out of bounds. It's now 24-23. And on to the set point, Lexi Guerra with the bump to Melton. She sets it up for Braden again. She gets the kill and the match win. The Lady Cats win four sets. Hey, we're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to take a look around Angelo State Athletics and announce our player of the week. Don't touch that remote. Season pass will be... With the opening of our second location on Sherwood Way, we offer families a selection of the location that best fits their needs. Serving the Concho Valley with four locations, San Angelo, Grape Creek, Robert Lee, and Bronx. Hi, I'm Mike. MGB wants to be your MVP, most valuable payer. Bring your gold, silver, and diamonds to MGB, and you'll say... I sold gold, and I like Mike. On Avenue in by Angelo State. Labor Day Monday sale at Ashley Home Store. Doors open at 9 a.m. for first time ever lowest price door busters. Three-piece dining set, only $96. Complete five-piece bedroom set, only $196. Limited quantities, first come, first serve, plus free four-piece Tupperware set with every purchase at your Ashley Home Store. 
Labor Day Monday sale at Ashley Home Store. Doors open at 9 a.m. for first time ever lowest price door busters. Three piece dining set only $96. Complete five piece bedroom set only $196. Limited quantities, first come, first serve, plus free four piece Tupperware set with every purchase at your Ashley Home Store. Welcome back to Season Pass. There's two things we haven't heard in the same sentence in recent years. Angelo State football and nationally ranked. That could change this season. The AFCA Division II coaches poll was released last week, and four, I repeat, four Lone Star Conference teams are featured on that list, including the Rams, who received votes to be ranked. Tarleton State, Midwestern State, and Commerce were also featured in the top 25. The defending D2 national champions, Valladosta State, comes in ranked number one. So taking a look at those AFCA Division II coaches' polls, Tarleton State comes in at number seven. The Lions of A&M Commerce are in at 13th after receiving 385 votes. Midwestern State at 20 with 214, and Angelo State receiving two votes. Maybe we'll see them crack the top 25 at some point this season. The Rams kicking off their season on Thursday with a home game against Western Oregon. That kickoff time set for 6 p.m. Former Central quarterback standout Maverick McIver made a mark in Lubbock during training camp this season. Maverick was competing for the backup QB spot for Texas Tech at least until the scrimmage. Maverick sustained a foot injury that will force him to miss some time. Here's head coach Matt Wells with his thoughts. Hey, two, uh, two injuries uh, or two surgeries in the last really 48 hours. Gilbert Abinami, freshman D lineman, um, be out for the year, upper body surgery. Um, uh, Maverick MacGyver had surgery on his foot. All right, he'll be out an extended time. Not sure if it's season ending or not, but it'll be an extended amount of time. Um, potentially could be back in November. That's about all I know right now. It's time now for our KLSC Player of the Week. And this week, we're handing out multiple honors, starting with the brothers of El Dorado. They both had dominant performances on the gridiron. El Dorado stormed past TLCA in week one, 47 to 6. And the Cavarubias brothers, there's that pronunciation, made an impact. Kevin threw for 355 yards and four touchdowns to lead El Dorado over TLCA, while Corbin caught nine passes for 257 yards and three touchdowns. He also copied his brother and threw for a touchdown of his own. On defense, Corbin picked up a sack and a tackle for loss. Congrats to the Cavarubias brothers. And unfortunately, we can't be everywhere at once, so we don't have footage of this performance. But Sonora running back Brock Oshenbeck deserves some kind of recognition for his performance Friday night. He put on an absolute show during the Broncos' 33 13 win over the Ozona Lions. Get a notepad and a pen, why don't you? And remember these stats. I don't know if anyone will top this single game performance. Oshenbeck, he ran for five touchdowns and racked up an unofficial 306 yards against the Lions. We'll give him a Player of the Week honor as well. So congrats to Brock Oshenbeck, as well as Kevin and and Corbin Cavarubias, this week's Players of the Week. Player of the Week is sponsored by Southwest Pools and Spots. And I want to remind everyone of the contest going on throughout the high school football season on ConchoValleyHomePage.com. It's called Throwback Thursday, and it's brought to you by Dr. Pepper. We're asking for photo submissions throughout the season, with each submission receiving an entry into a random drawing to win one $250 Walmart gift card, which will be rewarded at the end of the season. This week, our own Dan Scott has provided us a throwback picture of his days with the Erie and County Hornets, this one in 1983. So if you're in band, a cheerleader, or a player, Head over to con the contest tab on ContraValleyHomePage.com. Start racking up those entries. That pretty much wraps up this episode of Season Pass. You can check out all of our content on ContraValleyHomePage.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at KLSC Sports. Make sure to use that hashtag Season Pass to stay in the conversation. We'll see everyone next week. Good night, Contra Valley. Season Pass, sponsored by Kelly Grimsley Kia.